Today I'm doing some plant shopping at big box shops and my plan is to visit three different Lowe's and two Walmarts. So we'll see if I manage to hit all of those spots. And since it's just after Christmas, I'm very curious what kind of sales are going on. Um, if some of these places have maybe restocked coming into after the holiday months. So I'm very curious to see what I can find. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm a crazy plant lady. So if plant stuff brings a smile to your face, definitely subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a terrific community on Instagram. All right, I'm ready to do some shopping. So let's hit up our first Lowe's. Just a quick reminder, there is a way to purchase some of these amazing plants that I find while I am plant shopping. I have partnered up with one of my favorite local plant shops in Charlotte, North Carolina called Cactus Club. They have amazing plants listed on their website and they also are terrific at shipping. I've included a link in my description and a very small portion does go towards supporting my channel. So thank you so much as always for your support. I just walked into the first Lowe's and right off the bat, I see clearance plants. So I'm very curious. It looks like um, some of them are pretty far gone, but then others aren't that bad. There's some philodendron in there, um, some nice African violets, and then all this is basically 50% off. Like these philodendrons would be, um, you know, not too difficult of a save. I see some crotons, and this is a nice bird's nest fern. Yeah, there's some good clearance plants. There's an aglionema in there. Um, but they have a lot of plants in general. So I'm just gonna take, oh my gosh, look over here on clearance is a huge episcia. Look at that. A nice episcia 50% off, that's not bad. They have some crotons here. Then up here are some cool plants. There's a Scandapsis pictus. And then this one is a Cebu Blue Pothos. You can see those blue leaves. And then the Scandapsis has the nice silver blue leaves as well. And then there's some Hartley Philodendrons over there. I'm just gonna take a peek on the back side of this. Um, like display. Calathea in water. Look at this little bonsai. Wow. All right. So we have quite a few plants here. This is a Fetonia. Look at this pretty Pilea that they have. These plants are 548. What else is in here? Um, nice Brex begonia. Here's some more of these little ficus bonsai. Raven ZZ, $20. These ficus bonsai are 30. So there's one over there you could get for 50% off. And I'll put all of the addresses in my description below. Again, and down here are some ZZs and a bird's nest fern. These are all about 15. This is a pretty Fetonia. I don't know that I've seen this one before. Frankie, Fetonia. Arcanura. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. But you know she's dramatic. But I just think she's so pretty. Hmm. Alright, that's a maybe today. So all very organized. They have like this fluffy ruffle, some ivy over on the right. Then there's a waffle plant, croton, croton, beautiful rex begonia. And then down here is a big Calathea medallion, some more of the pretty <laughs> Frankie Fetonia, and here's a nice Pilea. Here's another waffle plant, some ivy. Down here is some Dracaena. Wow, look at that. Diffenbachias. And up here is a Syngonium. This is the type I normally see of the Fetonia, but these feel like potentially different. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hmm. And there's some, yeah, Croton Syngonium, 
Big ivy. Some more Fetonias. Ooh, look, right in front of me is a huge Wayetii, um Hoya. This is a great deal. It's $20. It's a huge plant of it. Oh my gosh, I would scoop that up in a heartbeat. I don't think I've ever seen a Wayetii at a big box shop. I have one already. Otherwise, I would get this, like, I'd just jump at it. That's a great find. They have rabbit foot ferns and neon pothos. Gosh, I can't believe that huge Hoyas just sat there like that. My goodness, amazing. Heart leaf, beautiful fern here. There's a bunch of plants on the other side. I'm seeing lots of uh, lemon lime marantas and just marantas in general this year at big box shops. Then there's golden pothos, bird's nest fern. Um, look at all these cute little air plant tillandsia. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. I've never seen these before. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm so tempted. That is adorable. Oh, and they have black ones, all sorts of different succulents. Oh, and these guys are cute with the little glasses. Oh, and then the little dachshund, look. Oh, lots of plants, all right. Okay, off the bat, I see an uncommon plant. Um, this is the ZZ Zenzi. It's a dwarf compact ZZ, and it has chunky leaves, like a fat, fat stems. It's a very slow grower. Um, it doesn't need to be watered often because it does store the water in its roots and in its stems and in its leaves, but this is an uncommon ZZ, and you can get the nice pot as well for a total of $18, which is a great deal. They have a couple of them. Here's another one. Look how cute that is. That's a good find. This um, is a regular ZZ. So you can see like the differences between the two. Uh, look at this beautiful uh, silver dragon, Alocasia. Absolutely beautiful. And then some raven ZZs. Adansonii Baltic Blue. We got a lot of beeping in the background. Um, some more Adansonii, $20. These are strawberry begonias. And then over there's a, a Lemon Lime Maranta. Some beautiful Tradescantia Ponytail Palms. Some Peace Lily Aglionemas. Ficus Lorata, little fiddly fig. Beautiful. Ooh, some more trending tropical varieties. We have the gorgeous Aglionema, the Raphidophora hyes, the like fastest growing shingling plant ever. <laughs> and then this is the Raven's Easy again. These are Scandapsis trubii moonlight, some money trees. Um, and this is this is another gorgeous Cebu blue. This is the lemon philodendron, the heart leaf ones. It's so beautiful. This one looks like a Hawaiian gold pothos. Ooh, they have some of the really nice gracilis lipstick plants. This is one of my favorite lipstick plants. Let me double check. I believe this is Gracilis, and it reminds me so much of a Hoya. It has beautiful petite leaves. It's a fast grower. It loves light. 10 out of 10 recommend this plant, and they have three of them here. And then this is a peacock moss plant. And then over here is another silver dragon, some of the gorgeous Aglionema. Um, and the only reason why I'm not scooping up all these plants is that I have most of them already in my collection. And here's a cute little snake plant hanging out there. People have been finding amazing plants, so um, every time I go out, it's something more um, unique and interesting. This is an interesting pothos. I'm not sure what kind that is.
These Monstera are 22. They're nice size ones as well. Some snake plants, huge peace lilies. Lots and lots of beautiful plants. All right, I'm here at Walmart and it looks like they have some plants. They have a lot of poinsettias because it's still just after Christmas, but they have a lot of other plants. Well, some other plants and I'm very curious. I was so curious what these plants were because they're so bright and it, they are um, succulent gardens and they're 15 and they're gorgeous. They have so many like pink, peach colors, like they've all been sun stressed, just absolutely beautiful. Some of them are flowering, just lovely. And then down here, you know, this Walmart's kind of hit or miss. It depends what day you get here. Um, but it looks like they had some trend, some trending tropicals. They have some of the chameleon ZZ still. This is the chameleon ZZ. And um, yeah, it comes out like this light lime green color and then it kind of eventually turns dark. They have some ZZ plants, but you know, I have all these in my collection. Um, they have quite a few of the chameleon ZZs, which is cool. I haven't seen them around very many places in the, in the Charlotte area. Um, a sago palm and these are Birkins. They're not looking so hot. A little money tree. We have some cacti. That little lumpy one in the very back is cute. And I like this one with the two. Looks like a, some sort of copper, copper color cactus. These are golden barrel. Some nice bromeliads. Um, let's see some cacti. Just kind of going to glance through some succulents and then up here they have uh, this looks like a neon pothos and then this one looks like the lemon the lemon yellow philodendron nice big monstera deliciosa here it seems like these plants should be on sale I bet you could like ask for a 50% off or something because some of these are in rough shape. Um, never be afraid to ask if a plant's not looking good and you want to give it a chance. I'm sure they'll give you a deal. These are all labeled as $20. Then there's big syngonium up here. But yeah, I mean, I found some great plants at this place before. Um, it's kind of like a one of the best kind of kept secrets in this area, in Monroe area, but um, it really does depend what day you come. I'd say the star of the show is really these beautiful succulents. Like each garden is different and they're beautiful. I'm at my next Lowe's and they're packed. I haven't been here in a long time. Um, it looks like they have some beautiful plants. This first one just really caught my eye. It's just a Marble Queen Pothos, but it's so beautiful. Um, and I really like these new pots. I'm seeing a lot of new new pots um, this trip, which is kind of cool. Um, I see all sorts of philodendrons and pothos and a Cebu Blue up there. And then there's some ferns kind of in the back. Um, <laughs> they have some more of these head planters, but can we just take a moment? Like, are you all right, guy? Are you gonna be okay? He's so mad about life. She's not, she's just chilling, but he's like very upset. And then these are nice. I like this little stump money tree. <laughs> That's cute, here's another one. And then there's CZ's, another money tree. Um, some Syngonium. There's a Birkin, Lemon Lamaranta, Bird's Nest Fern, Parlor Palm. Yeah. On first glance, see some interesting things. First up, they also have this, oh, this one's called a Red Elf lipstick plant. I had called it Gracilis at the last store because that's what it looks like, but they have it labeled as Red Elf lipstick plant. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know 
what the difference is. They have some huge spider plants here for 16. And then really beautiful um, Scandapsis pictus. Look how pretty that leaf is. That's stunning. And this is a beautiful Diffenbachia. What else? Um, they have some of this fluffy ruffle, crotons, dracaena, syngonium, another dracaena, Diffenbachia. Some fern, Phytonia. This is a really pretty one. Look at those leaves. They're just stunning. Some cacti, lemon lime maranta, some cute little tradescantia. It's the teddy bear one. Um, just kind of taking my time looking through. Beautiful bromeliads, Vitonia here. Is this real? It looks fake. I guess it's real. Hmm. Beautiful. What's over here? Aglionema, Diffenbachia, Aglionema. Um, some little ripple. Ripple peperomias, silver dragon, ZZ plant. Okay, so these leaves are rounded and um, this is called a lucky ZZ, if I'm not mistaken, because I recently saw some rounded leaf ZZs in a previous video and everyone commented, because I asked them like, what are these rounded leaf ZZs called? And everyone said they're called, um, a lucky ZZ, so that's a really interesting variety. I love this pot. I think it looks beautiful. And this is $24, so I have never seen that one at a big box shop before. Amazing. Amazing. And then spider plant up here, they have a couple varieties. They have this one over here on the right, which has white variegation, and then the one over here on the left, which is more of a solid green. Some beautiful staghorn fern. Um, lovely. Some more ZZ, some big ones. They're 29. Some bird of paradise. Stunning, stunning. Ooh, look at this Calathea. That's a newer one for uh, big box shops. Lovely, there's some ZZs, or I'm sorry, snake plants. Calatheas, looks like there are some more trending tropicals over here. We have some little peace lilies, some more of the ripple peperomias, at beautiful aglionema, some silver dragon. These are so cute. I love these little um, snake plants. I think this looks like either a Prince of Orange or a Macaulay's Finale or a Red Sun <laughs> philodendron there. It could be a few different things. Ooh, here's a Homolonema. I believe this one is called Emerald Gem. Really stunning. What else do we have over here? I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, look. Look, 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 philodendron mykins. Wow, it's so pretty in this pot. How much are you? $13.98. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. Then there's a little ficus audrey over here and a little Cebu blue. Another, um, here's an anthurium. Some beautiful golden pothos, could be Hawaiian gold. And another homolonema. This looks like a... I always say the wrong thing. But it's the purple sword. I think it's a schistomoglottis, but... Maybe not. I always say the wrong thing with that one. Um, rattlesnake calathea. Ooh, they have a ton of plants on sale over here. Let's take a quick peek. 
Dracaena. I'm here at Walmart and I am very curious to see what plants I can find. Looks like a lot of them are on sale. So they have this Birkin, these are all nine, wait, yeah, they're $10. And they have a lot of them. This looks like a Baltic blue or a Cebu blue, Baltic blue, I'm sure. And then Birkin, I mean, they're in rough shape is the only thing. They have a lot of really cute succulents. Um, Let's see. They have this little cacti here. These are cute, but these are $15.97. Loads of succulents. Lots of raven's easies. These are all $19.84. They have Norfolk pine and um, regular's easies. Baltic blue, these are all 10. Monstera Peru even, but it looks like it has mealybugs. Um, Trubii. Moonlight Skindapsis. Hmm. Looks like some sort of pothos over there. There's some money trees, some big Dracaena. This big rubber tree is 19. They have a few of these burgundy rubber trees. And Monstera's here. The Monstera's 24, but you could definitely ask for a deal on those. Oh look, they have some of the chameleon ZZ's here. What does it say? 15. So I guess a lot of these are on sale. And then some of them have the stickers like uh, that Trubii, which looks like it's on, you know, on that, on the outs. 11. Baltic Blue, Monstera Peru back there. Pretty ugly Onima, the pink one. Um, we got some Dracaena and snake plants. A little staghorn fern down there. Some more snake plants. Raphidophora hyes. Yeah, not much. I'm sure they'll get a shipment in soon of new plants. Because this is this place usually is uh, packed full of house plants. But it looks like it's still mostly poinsettias. So I'll come back in a few weeks and see um, what new house plants they have in. All right, I'm at my next Lowe's. Very curious um, what they have here. First off the bat, I see these Aglionema spathonemas. I have one of these. They're really cool Aglionemas, and they have this interesting kind of design on the leaves or interesting variegation. Absolutely beautiful, very easy care, $20. Um, up here, strawberry begonias, red maranta. These are all $20. Oh wait, this one's actually a Tradescantia. And that one is a strawberry begonia. Gosh, I'm seeing so many of these teddy bear Tradescantias. Does anyone have one of these? Like, what do you think of it? Is it easy care? Interesting. So here's some peace lilies and um, alocasia poly. These are 15. They're in these um, self-watering pots. Bird of paradise, not bird of paradise, bird's nest fern. Um, Crotons, ZZs, Raven ZZs, some more of the Aglaonema, Spathonemas, and Calatheas. Here's a beautiful Episcia, really nice sized one, another strawberry begonia, a bunch of strawberry begonias, and a neon pothos. Continuing around. Um, here's the peacock moss plant, a really cool fern. I think this one's called kangaroo paw because it looks like the leaves look like little paw, but I'm not sure. Okay, continuing. Uh, variegated Schifflera, Calathea, Golden Pothos, Dracaena, another really beautiful Calathea back there. <sighs> trying to remember what kind this is. I think it's called a purple sword. And. Then here's another Maranta. 
really beautiful. Sometimes you can find these specifically variegated. Then they have the Homolonema Emerald Gem down there. Oh, here's another. Is this, oh no, these have pointed, so it's not the Lucky ZZ. And just checking to see if there's any variegation on that one. Some more of these teddy bear Tradescantia. Wow, huge staghorn ferns. Absolutely gorgeous. Strawberry begonias. I don't see, I'm like looking for Hoyas. And I don't see over here. That doesn't mean they're not somewhere else. And then here's Aglionemas. Really lovely Dracaena snake plants. Um, Golden Pothos. These fern are $12. What's over here? Some really nice size African violets. $9. Up here we have Scandapsis pictus. Money trees. Yellow philodendron, marble queen. <laughs> I love these head pots. <laughs> oh look, down here they have um, the ZZ Zenzi. That's a really lush one. They have a couple of those. And then that's a dragon tooth alocasia over there, I think. Ooh, alocasia quilted dreams. Not sure what kind of philodendron that is, but it's beautiful. Monstera adansonii. They have a raffidophora tetrasperma. Calathea, oh look, they have alocasia jacqueline. This is the newest one on the market. Um, Really, really lovely. Such an uncommon alocasia for the longest time. So this is Silver Dragon, Aglionema, Baltic Blue. Some more of these beautiful red, I mean, these are just, wow. They're really something else. So beautiful. All right, some really pretty philodendron. These are Pink Princess philodendrons. Gosh, I can't get over these yellow philodendrons. They're so stunning. Ooh, twister lipstick plant, one of my faves. Isn't it so pretty? I love these. I love these, they're so fun. $15. Lots of philodendron Brazil down there for about five bucks. And there's some more of the green marantas up here. Rex begonia. Um... Wow, this is pretty. I never see this big of pothos. Pearls and Jade, $20. Nice. Fitonia, some really big Fitonia here. Look at that. Really large, gorgeous Bird of Paradise. Chiflera, Crotons, some gorgeous orchids. Green philodendrons, lots of beautiful bromeliads. That was really interesting. Lowe's was packed full of plants, Walmart not so much. So that's kind of good to know. And Lowe's also had a lot of great clearance plants. I'd say the best finds of the day were um, the Wayetii Hoya. That thing was massive. It was so beautiful. Just um, a great deal for $20. And if I didn't already have one of those, I would have scooped that up in two seconds. I also thought that Pink Fitonia was really beautiful. I would have scooped that one up in two seconds, except with all my traveling. I've been doing it just wouldn't be able to handle being um, not watered regularly but I'm very curious like about it because it was so bright pink I'm wondering if maybe it's received a lot of light or if it's a different type of variety it's called Frankie so I'm not sure I thought that was a great deal though it was around five dollars it was also really cool to see all the ZZ Zenzies again. I'm glad that those are on the market. A lot of people have been inquiring about those. It was neat to see a Lucky ZZ. I have never seen one of those in a big box shop. It's the ZZ with the rounded leaves. That was really cool. Um, very, very tempting. I may pick one of those up the next time I'm out. I love the yellow philodendrons. I thought they were beautiful. Also that lipstick plant that's called Red Elf. It looked very much like a gracilis. Um, that one was $15, a great deal. 
the Mykins there, $13, the Ficus Audrey, $13. There were so many great ones. I'm so proud of myself for abstaining from purchasing any plants today. It was definitely tough and there were so many wonderful plants on clearance. All of the plants that I would have picked out though, I already have in my collection. So Lowe's was definitely the place to go today. I would recommend checking out your Lowe's. They had some great plants on clearance. However, Walmart, not so much. I'd say give them a chance to get out some of their like Christmas plants and holiday plants and then they'll start getting some new house plants in because Walmart's usually a, a good spot to go to for plants. So I thank you so much for watching and tagging along with me while I did some plant shopping today. It was really, really fun. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future plant videos in your newsfeed. And we also have a terrific community on Instagram. All right. I hope you have a great rest of the day and then I get to see you soon. Bye.